original cast of Gilligan's Island, Batman, Hawaiian Eye, and Lost in Space in producing for today's view, the Gilligan's Island family. Alan Hale, Jr., Jim Backus, Natalie Schaefer, Russell Johnson, Don Wells, reunited again, ready for action. Competing against the Batman family, Adam West, Lee Merriweather, Yvonne Craig, Bert Ward, and Vincent Price, as they are today. On your mark, let's play the Family Feud! Thank you. Uh, now, so far, Gilligan's Island, they've been playing for the Motion Picture and TV Fund of one five thousand five hundred and three dollars oh. And Batman are playing the World Vision that helps children. Five thousand five hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. That's good news some. They're going to fight it out today, and then they will go into the finals tomorrow. And tomorrow is a $10,000 day that we play. All for charity. <laughs> My buddy's right here. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you want a monkey? You're looking good, guys. Get the how you doing? Wonderful. Yeah, I got to tell you, it's a thrill for me to see you all. You played so well, you won the money when Isn't you got out there. Really, we are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gilligan's Island, bless their hearts, they're wonderful people. Uh, we'll all have a little party at the Lobster Barrel a little later. Let's hey, meet them fun. all. I know them and love them, but let's meet them. Yes, certainly, ladies and gentlemen, and Dickie, of course. Yeah. Our wondrous friend at Mr. Howell on the island, Jim Backus. Hey, Jim. Who is this lovely, lovely damsel? Lovey. As would be Miss Natalie Schaefer. Love it. Hey. Hello, Natalie. I want a stunt check. Our brilliant man. <laughs> <laughs> our brilliant man on the island. Our professor, Mr. Russell Johnson. Welcome, Russell. <laughs> and and certainly. Again, it goes without saying, last but not least, our lovely Dawn Wells, Mary Ann. Oh, wow. Welcome, Dawn. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank I, you. You seem to be having we a good time. We are having a lovely you know. time, and I appreciate it. I cried all the way through those introductions <laughs> because Jim said he wanted a stunt check for doing the show. <laughs> Yeah, we're coming down the stairs. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> George. Almost right, George. Uh, <laughs> Mr. McGraw, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dear. Thank you for being with us. Welcome again. Well, this is my first game show, and I'm adoring it. I really Hold thank right. you, because I know a lot of you don't do great. Hold them up. I <laughs> just love them. They're so elegant. Huh? <laughs> I love them. Now, is that uh, like one for reading and one and for distance? And one for seeing you. <laughs> uh, I'm sort of a rarity. Thank you. But the professor. Hi, Richard. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, here's the gambler of the group. Here's the gambler. Hello. Hi. I'm a Nevada girl, you know. Are you really? Fourth generation. Where are we born? We know. Ooh. I get kids for Get uh, a lollipop. Do it again. I like this. Oh. No, no, never, James. Uh, again? You know, if it had a black stem, it would be worth a hundred dollars. I could make the difference as who'll play in the uh, big game. But you've done very well until now. We don't need it. We gamblers don't need it. That's right. Exactly. Look at them. Look at Swamp. Look at them. Oh my God. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Ready, don't Two you? gooders. <laughs> Batman, right out. We got five thousand five hundred and twenty dollars. World Vision. Uh, tell us a little about it. Well, World Vision helps uh, needy children all over the world uh, with one of the basic problems in this world, and that is uh, enough food. Okay. 
glad you're here. Thank you. You care. Well, we're delighted to be here. Let's meet everybody. Please. We had a little taste of victory the you other did, time. That, that's, yes, that's, it that's, felt so yeah, good. That's good. Well, good oh. always. Good. Let's meet everybody. It's better than fighting crime, isn't it? It is. All by right, uh, one of the uh, uh, worst villainesses ever to walk in Gotham City. Uh, also, <laughs> Miss America one time, our friend Leanne Merriweather. Thank you, Thank you. And next to Leanne, uh, the young lady who played Batgirl so well and gave us all such humor on the set, Yvonne Craig. The, the taller half, uh, the tougher half of the crime-fighting duo. Not taller, uh, tougher. <laughs> Robin, Burt Ward. Yeah. And? And Mr. Vincent Price. Egghead. One of the most horrible, evil people ever. Well, they always were. Nice to we see. don't need to see that in television. You can meet those people at home. <laughs> uh, that's my love. I have one kiss. Wait a minute. One kiss. That's from my mother. This is from Kyle. And that's from Leslie. And this is from me. You got anything to... <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> I was just wondering if it was an aunt in Omaha. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, to Donnie, not I ran all. out of females. I did, no, I didn't go for Guadalajara. I think she's covered all the legal ground on television. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I wonder if we could discuss other areas a little later. <laughs> da, 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 I love her legs. <laughs> da, 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 da. A uh, friend of the Kleiners in Montreal. Yes, a Who friend of mine. Uh, my, my partner is uh, Julian Kleiner in Montreal in my business, and uh, he you asked me to talk to probably just got two or three uh, points extra in the business. Oh, I'm sure I've done a very nice thing for them. They're great people. No, oh, I've done a very... You've done nothing. <laughs> I did a very... <laughs> Here's my love. <laughs> How are you? Lovely, fine, happy. Don't get Pick me one. A, come on, a right, winning... Wait, wait, I got my black pencil here. No, no! <laughs> no he, Vince! <laughs> You're only a villain on Batman. But it's for such a good cause. No, no. Oh, 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 I don't want it. I want the chocolate one there. It's white. Oh, listen. Yeah, I'll do it, it this way. All right. It is a good cause. Yeah. Watch. There it is. Black one. Hold it. Yep. <laughs> oh. Yay. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I got the black one. Uh, there you go. You both got a hundred dollars now. Okay. Good idea. Good idea. Let's play the view. Let's go. One hundred people survey. Top five answers on the board. You got to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something people buy before boarding a plane. Got it. A ticket. A ticket. Yes, sir. Oh. Two answers. We'll beat that on. Grammarman. Oh. <laughs> Grammarman? Yeah, there you go. He's out of control. What are you going to do? Play it back. Uh, what do you want to do? Play. Play. play, Richard. Oh, we'll play. We're going to play. All right. Those Chicago elections. He... He thought that was close enough to number one. Okay. Planes, what do we buy before right. we go back? Luggage. Oh. Luggage! <laughs> no. No, I never ever get to the airport and start looking for luggage because, well, because you've got, you've got all the stuff under your arm going through security. That's a funny walk, yeah. <laughs> and they laugh at your jockey shorts and things. And people buy before boarding a plane. Extra insurance. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Non-schedule airlines. Sure. Yes, sir. Yeah. The way to do it. All right. Well, uh, there's not too many left, but I'm going to try souvenirs. Souvenir? Yes. Souvenir! Oh, no. Right. Oh, right. But luckily, we've come to the great Vincent, yeah. who can yeah. help us out. <laughs> oh, I got it. What is it? Something to read. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Not just another pretty face. No, you're so right. <laughs> Something to read. You know it's there. There it is. <laughs> what 
people buy before boarding a plane? Uh, a toy. For the kids, the kids they're going to see. Oh, that's it. Okay. The kids. A toy. Toy! Oh, no! What? Skipper! Skipper? Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'd be run aground right now if he were the skipper. Oh, there's ninety dollars up there. One answer, unrevealed. Oh, yeah. Candy or gum? Okay, all right. right? Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear that? All right. Oh, that's good. That's good. A lot of people do that, and I think that's a good. And if it's there, you get the ninety dollars. If not, Adam gets it. Get it? <laughs> you got it. Me? Is that your answer? Big Jim starts again. We will return. <laughs> Jim, being so wealthy, doesn't even have to come over here. We have put a buzzer there. And you're being so pretty, we've given you a buzzer. I love it. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, I darling. shall read carefully. Here we go. 100 people survey. Top seven answers on the board. Here's the question. Name the most relaxing thing you do. Please. Uh, TV. Watch TV. Watch television. <laughs> Uncle Jim. Three answers will beat that, Uncle Jim. Uh, name the most relaxing thing you do. Make love. What a sweetheart you are. <laughs> Even if it's not there, I'm going to chip in a couple of dollars myself. <laughs> yes. Make okay. love? It's there! But they got control. What are you going to do? Play a card. Most relaxing thing you do? Take a hot bath. Uh, yeah. Hot bath? <laughs> you got it. Clean mind, clean body. <laughs> I say uh, listening to uh, relaxing music. Hearing music. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, you did the yeah, All right. For me, the most relaxing thing is gardening. You like that? Yeah. All right. Love that. Gardening. <laughs> no. Oh, no I know. You do. You, do. you like the potter yeah, around no. there. Okay. Adam. Uh, sleeping. <laughs> Sleep up. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, no, that's good. Besides this, <laughs> reading Vincent Price's books. Oh, yeah, reading. Yes. That's great. That's a great way to relax. Read. How about get a massage? Oh, yeah. Okay. Love it. Massage. No? Oh. Sounded good, though, Don. <laughs> sure. sure it does. It's a great way to relax. Uh, go for a walk in the park. All righty. Well, that's right. I've seen you in there a couple of times. <laughs> walk in the park. Ready <laughs> oh. $5. You can talk up. I'm coming over to you. Yell the answers out if you wish. What have you come up with? Uh. Strong drink. Have a drink. <laughs> Make yes, you two would be very dumb. <laughs> <number. laughs> Strong drink gets you all the money, if not a very even game, because Adam and the gang will get the $85. Drink! <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Seven. Sunday. Oh. Then have a drink, then make love, <laughs> and then come in from the park. We'll be back right after this. Game, $90, Gilligan to 85, Batman, Yvonne, we snapper. We'll see each other luck. We'll see each other luck. Yes. Always like to see good sports uh, person. Uh. 100 people surveyed top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something you bring into the bedroom for a day when you're sick in bed. Yes. Pills. Pill. Ah. A book. A book. You're doing very well for the reading there, Dan. Are you going to play a pass? Talk it over, my love. Uh, now, just talk it over. Are you going to play or pass? Play, play, play. Play, play, play. Play, play. 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 Okay. 
Something you bring into the bedroom for a day when you're sick in bed, Russell. The telly. Yeah, sure. Telly! Hey. Good, darling. Good. What would you say, Eva? Okay, tray of food, maybe? Tray of food? Tray of food? Yeah. Hey! Step up. A bed tray. A bed tray? Yeah. A bed tray. <laughs> no. Oh. What do you think, Jim? I think a uh, radio for soothing music. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. Good, Jim. Oh, sure. Why not? Radio? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, oh. there. Yeah. Sweet Natalie. Uh, uh, Cards play solitaire. Okay. Good. Oh, hey, that's good. Is there all right? If not, third strike. Playing cards? <laughs> no. $89. Come on down here. Okay. Roll them. What do you say? Kleenex. Kleenex? Four? Minimum. Yeah, particularly if you have a broken ankle. That's an always, always useful. What? Five? Two? Telephone. 179, playing 85. Let's go! Here's Russell. Dollar values are doubled. One hand. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name an actor or actress who is also a political activist. Russell. Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. Play it fast. Yeah, play it, play it. I like Russell. I'd be four minutes early if they were all like me. Gosh. You've got three seconds. How about Paul Newman? Paul Newman. Good answer. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 I Three seconds. I can't pass. All right. I can't do it. Oh, it don't work. Jim, an actor or an actress who is also a political activist. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Reagan! You are great. How did you see your dress? Ed Asner. Ed Asner? Oh, very, very good, Natalie. Very good. Jay, you got it in your play for $10,000. Ed Asner? Like this is the day before the end of our second week. That was the toughest. That was the toughest question. Truly, that was not an easy question. And they all applauded you too. That was a great. Well done. At 85, that we're going to add to your score here. Will you stay in room, Mom, for me? All righty. Who's going to play? Two people. Two people. Go. Playing for the motion picture and television. Good luck. Thanks. Fifteen seconds, please. Name a foreign country that sex symbols come from. Italy. An animal that big game hunters hunt. Deer. A fabric evening gowns are made of. Chiffon. A position on a baseball team. Pitcher. A chocolate food. Hot fudge sundae. Turn around. Foreign country sex symbols come from A, Italia. Survey? Yeah. Animal, big game, on the Dia. Survey? Yeah. <laughs> it makes Bambi an endangered species. <laughs> Fabric even gowns are made of chiffon, which is margarine. Survey? <laughs> Position on a baseball team. Pictures? Survey set? Chocolate food. Chocolate food Sundays, every said. Two. That, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Meet them halfway. Looking for Russell. Shall we do it? Yes, sir. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Please remind everyone the answers Dawn gave us. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name a foreign country that sex symbols come from. France. An animal the big game hunters hunt. 
Uh, uh, tigers. A fabric evening gowns are made of. Silk. A position on a baseball team. First base. A chocolate food. Cake. Turn around. You did much better with the hands. You did. Much quicker, though. Much quicker. Last time, four airplanes landed. <laughs> this time, he just was cool, calm, and collected. A foreign country sex symbols come from France, you said. It was number one. Series right. so six. An animal, the big game, hunter's hunt. Lion was number one. You said a tiger. Survey said nine. Fabric evening gowns are made of. You said silk. It was number one. Survey said. Position on a baseball team. Pitcher was number one. You said first base. We need 19 points for $5,000. Survey said 10. Chocolate food, you said let them eat cake. Nine points, survey said, let them eat World Vision won $5,705, but the big game tomorrow has been settled. We're going to have Lost in Space, and they're going to play Gilligan. Gilligan, so far, $10,970. Bob Denver, where are you? We'll see you here on the Bye-bye. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. Television Production.